All right, once you're done the C clamp, one of my students pointed out that I made a mistake in the making of this. This happens all the time. Um, you'll make a small mistake of a dimension, realize it later, and thankfully Inventor makes it really easy to fix these mistakes. So if you look at the drawing of this, you'll notice that the dimension for this part of the screw is supposed to be 0.562 inches. For me though, if I were to measure that dimension, I would see that it is, come on, 0.582 inches long. So we need to shorten that by 0 0.2, 0 0.02 inches, which isn't too difficult to do. I'm going to double click on my screw when I'm in my assembly to edit it. And I already have my screw open down here. So I just want to show you that if you double click as we did earlier and it kind of grays everything else out, if you have the file open and you double click on it, it's just going to open that file. And that's perfectly fine to work with. Then I'm going to find on my browser which um, part deals with that error over there. So my chamfer doesn't deal with it. The extrusions for that peg going through it, threads for the thread, our revolution is what deals with that. If I just double click on my revolution, it would only allow me to edit my revolution, so how much it spins around, things like that. And I can actually change things to make it like a 45 degree revolution, which is kind of crazy. You can get, do some pretty cool stuff with that. I want to edit the original sketch there. So to do that, I click the little plus next to revolution, and I have sketch one. And if I hover over that, we can even see that, hey, it's 0.582. We need to change that. I'm going to double click on the icon. Don't double click on the text, but double click on the icon for it. And here's my original sketch that we had from the very beginning of making this screw. To change this dimension, I'm just going to double click on it and type in 0.562 to be correct. <laughs> click Finish Sketch, and it automatically updates it. It automatically made it shorter. And it's hard to see because it's a small dimension, but it is now shorter. And that will give us a new mass for just a screw of 0.132 pounds. Now, if I save this and go to my assembly, Autodesk Inventor will automatically update that in my assembly. So if I were to measure that again, it's now 0.562 inches. So Autodesk Inventor, if you ever change a part, will automatically update it in the assembly, which is a pretty cool part about it. So our final mass should be 1.097 pounds, and that would be it for the C-clamp.